In this example, we are asked to find the tension of the two uh, wires that are suspending this 100 pound weight. So we have this vector T1 here. We have this vector T2 here. And we want to model what their tensions are. There are enough variables in this problem or constraints in the problem for us to solve for the magnitude of T1 and the magnitude of T2. So if the vector is in this direction right here for T1 or for T2, then its length is going to be the tension. It's the force magnitude in that direction. So we want to find the magnitude of T1 and the magnitude of T2. Okay, I'm just going to refer to this from now on as T1 and this as T2, and I'm going to model the vectors T1 and T2 by finding their components. So if I draw a triangle right here, notice that because this line and this line here are parallel, then that makes this angle here equal to the 50 degrees up here. So since this now is 50 also, then I can write this length and this length in terms of sine and cosine. The magnitude, oh, sorry, the vector T1 would then be in the x direction a negative magnitude T1, which I said I was going to just call that T1. And that's going to be because it's adjacent, and remember adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. We can write that as T1 cosine of 50 degrees in the x direction and it's negative because it's going back to the left plus uh, t1 in the y direction is going to be positive and it's going to be sine of 50 degrees similarly 2t oh sorry t2 can be written in terms of its two components Right Again, this angle here is going to match this angle up here. So they're both 32 degrees. And since the length of this hypotenuse right here is in fact T2, then I can write that this is T2 times cosine 32 degrees in the x direction plus T2 sine of 32 degrees in the y direction. The last vector that's involved here is actually the weight vector which has zero left and right motion or direction but goes in the y direction a negative 100 pounds. So W would be equal to negative 100 J. Because this thing is in equilibrium it's not moving then T1 plus T2 plus W is all equal to the zero vector. Which means if you add up the x components and the y components, they should all equal zero. That gives me an equation with two unknowns. If I add up the x's, I get minus t1 cosine of 50 degrees plus t2 cosine of 32 degrees, which equals zero. And I get t2, sorry, make that t1 sine of 50 degrees plus T2 sine of 32 degrees. I'm adding up the Y components, so minus 100. That's all the things in front of the J's added together and all the things in front of the X's or the I's added together. Gives me zero. Okay? So what I'm going to do is recognize that the cosines and sines, those are all coefficients. My unknowns are T1 and T2. Solve the 2 by 2 system. And I'm going to do it the easy way and use um, a CAS like Wolfram Alpha. And when I plug in that system, I get that T1 is equal to 85 Point six pounds and T2 is 64.9 pounds.